So it is being widely reported that Manchester United have had a £42 million bid accepted by Lille for their 18-year-old French centre-back Lenny Euro. With Lille keen to move him on as he's only got one year left on his contract, with Real Madrid looking to wait it out till the end of the transfer window in order to get Euro as cheap as possible, offering possibly around £20 million less than what United are offering now. And so now it's up to Lenny Euro, but it does seem like Real Madrid are his first choice. But if they aren't prepared to match Manchester United's bid, maybe he takes a move rather than waiting for Florentino Perez. But from Man United's point of view, is Lenny Euro a good signing at £42 million? Well, I think you'd have to say it is a good deal in some respects, as Euro is an 18-year-old, but already reads the game so well when running backwards, looking to cut off a through ball in behind, or around the box anticipating where a cutback or a cross may come from, and his inspector gadget-like legs make him a magnet to the ball in the box. He's got the pace and the 1v1 defending ability to play as a wide centre-back when United press in a back three, whilst also being comfortable in possession when receiving the ball in a wide position. Not just looking to go long at the first sign of pressure, but also having the composure and the technique to hold on to the ball and either dribble or carry the ball past the player before then releasing a pass. So without doubt, when looking at potential, Euro is one of the best young centre-backs in Europe. However, because he is so young, he is still far from the complete player. As I do sometimes feel he is vulnerable against elite level dribblers, where his tackling technique can become a bit uncoordinated and uncontrolled, whilst he can also be susceptible to a mistake in possession under pressure. But before I go any further, if you want to pick up any Euro 2024, new season or retro club or international jerseys, go over to Jersey FIFA. You can use code Atlantis at checkout for a discount. A link will be in my Instagram bio, which I will leave linked in the description and the comment section below. But compared to Matthias De Ligt, all the two options I'd like United to look at in Mohamed Simakan and Usman Diamande, I just can't help but feel that physically Euro is a level below and he still needs to fill out his frame. But also in possession, I think De Ligt and Simakan are significantly better than Euro, whilst Diamande is far superior, being the best of the three in possession. And we can see this when we compare Diamande's FB Ref report from the Primera Liga last season with Euros from Ligue 1. Diamande ranks around the 90th percentile or higher for pretty much all of his progressive passing and completion metrics, showcasing his capabilities as a short and long passer. While Joro's FB Ref report shows that whilst he is a pretty good retainer of possession, he doesn't progress the ball anywhere near as well as Diamande does, whilst also not having the same range of passing either. I know that Diamande plays in Liga Nos with Sporting and Euro in Liga and with Lille, but both clubs are around the same level in their respective leagues, so I think it's the fairest comparison available. But we can also see that Diamande is also vastly superior to Euro when it comes to his ball carrying and dribbling, ranking close to the 75th to 85th percentile range for most of his take on metrics, confirming my point that technically Diamande is a level or two above Euro in position. Euro to me is like Bramthwaite, he's a pretty good passer off of both feet, but excels more when playing long looping curling passes over the press, rather than low incisive passes punched through the lines of the opposition midfield, which I think is a key attribute that United need from their players in the back line. Diamande is already one of the best around at doing this, but also has a physical development that Euro doesn't have yet, alongside pace, reading of the game and tackling technique that I think means he can develop into the sort of centre-back that Saliba or Arejo are now within the next one to three years. He does have a £69 million release clause in his Sporting Lisbon contract, but reports have said that Sporting would accept around £50 million. And I think Diamande for £50 million, or likely slightly less around £45 million with add-ons, is a much better deal than £42 million for Euro, purely because I think even if it is an extra £8 to £10 million that Diamande may cost, I do think it would be worth it, especially next season, as I think United are a better side with Diamande as a third-choice centre-back to De Ligt and Martinez, because Diamande can also slot in comfortably at right-back or left-back, which I don't think that Lenny Euro can do to the same level. At the minute, I just think Diamande is the better defensive centre-back than Euro, physicality-wise and just maturity-wise in his decision-making. I think Euro is one or two seasons away from Diamande's current level in 2024, which I guess should be expected with Euro just 18 and Diamande being two years older than him. And I also think Diamande's versatility alongside this further justifies a slightly higher valuation. And so I think Euro would be a good signing in isolation, but I had assumed that if we were signing De Ligt, we would then also sign a versatile centre-back who could also play at full-back, particularly on the left side. But Euro, I guess, would have to fill both centre-back positions, as I think he's more than comfortable with playing at left-sided centre-back compared with left-back or right-back. 
So in short, I definitely think Lenny Yoro is one of the best young centre-backs in world football, and I would love to have him at Manchester United. But we do have to factor in how young he is, he's only 18, and so you have to expect that he may need one, maybe even two seasons to adapt to the physicality of the Premier League, whereas with Diamande or Simakan, I think they have just as much potential, and their current ability and physicality is a lot higher than Lenny Yoro at the moment. And considering they'd all be around the same price range, I'd prefer Diamande, Simakan second, but regardless, I still think Lenny Yoro would be a very good signing for United.